How much do you really know about the planet we live on? Make sure to strap in as we break down six lesser known facts about Earth. Fact number one, Earth's surface is riddled with gravity holes. In Hudson Bay, Canada, you'll experience gravity that's measurably weaker than anywhere else on the planet. We're talking about a place where the very fabric of Earth's gravitational field has been dented. 10,000 years ago, massive ice sheets pressed down on this region with such tremendous force that they literally compressed the ground beneath. When the ice melted, the land began slowly rebounding upward, but it's still catching up. Today, this creates what scientists call a gravity anomaly. You'd weigh about 1 20th of an ounce less here than you would in other parts of the world. It's like Earth itself is still recovering from the last ice age. Fact number two, lightning creates temperatures five times hotter than the sun. This bolt of lightning just created something hotter than the surface of the sun. Five times hotter, actually. The sun's surface burns at around 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. But for a split second, that lightning chain reached an incomprehensible 50,000 degrees. At that temperature, the air around the lightning bolt doesn't just heat up, it explodes. The shockwave from this superheated air expanding faster than the speed of sound is what we call thunder. Every single second, about 100 lightning bolts strike Earth's surface. That's 8.6 million strikes per day, each one briefly creating temperatures that would make our sun seem cool by comparison. Earth is literally being bombarded by these miniature stars, each one burning for just a fraction of a second, but burning hotter than anything in our solar system. Fact number three, the moon is stealing Earth's rotation. Every single day on Earth is getting longer, not by much, just 1.8 milliseconds per century, but our days are definitely growing. The culprit, our moon. Through gravitational tidal forces, the moon is essentially acting like a cosmic break on Earth's rotation. As Earth spins beneath these tidal bulges, the friction is gradually slowing us down. What this means is mind-blowing. When dinosaurs ruled the Earth, a day was only 23 hours long. Go back another 1.4 billion years, and an Earth day lasted just 18 hours and 41 minutes. If you think your days feel too short now, imagine trying to fit everything into an 18-hour day. But here's the twist. Recently, Earth's rotation has actually been speeding up due to changes in our planet's core. Climate change is now affecting even how fast our planet spins. Fact number four, Earth's core is as hot as the sun's surface. Beneath your feet, 4,000 miles down, lies a ball of iron and nickel burning at 9,800 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the same temperature as the surface of our sun. Earth's inner core is a solid sphere about 1,500 miles across, roughly the size of the moon. Surrounding this solid core is the liquid outer core, where molten iron flows in massive currents. These currents generate Earth's magnetic field, our invisible shield against deadly solar radiation. Without this superheated engine churning away beneath us, Earth would be a dead, frozen rock like Mars. Our magnetic field deflects solar wind that would otherwise strip away our atmosphere. And get this, the inner core is growing. As the outer core slowly cools, it solidifies and adds to the inner core at a rate of about half an inch every thousand years. Fact number five, there are places on Earth where it hasn't rained for 400 years. In northern Chile lies the Atacama Desert, a place so dry some parts haven't seen a drop of rain in over 400 years. This isn't just dry. This is Mars-level dry. Some areas receive less than one millimeter of rainfall per year. For perspective, Death Valley gets about 60 times more rain than the driest parts of Atacama. The cruel irony? Atacama sits right next to the Pacific Ocean the largest body of water on Earth. But the geography creates a perfect storm of dryness. Cold ocean currents, towering mountains, and atmospheric patterns conspire to create this rain shadow. It's so similar to Mars that NASA tests their rovers here. The soil is so sterile that scientists debate whether anything can actually live in the driest regions. Fact number six, Earth's largest living structure can be seen from space. From space, astronauts can see something remarkable a living structure larger than Italy, stretching for 1,400 miles along Australia's coast. The Great Barrier Reef isn't just the largest coral reef, it's the largest living structure ever built on Earth. But here's what blows minds. It was constructed entirely by tiny organisms smaller than your fingernail. Each coral polyp is a tiny animal that secretes calcium carbonate, essentially building its own limestone skeleton. So multiply that by billions of polyps over millions of years. The reef we see today started growing about 25 million years ago, but the current structure is only about 6,000 years old. In geological terms, that's yesterday. This living megastructure supports 1,500 species of fish, 400 types of coral, and thousands of other species. It's essentially an underwater rainforest visible from orbit. But this ancient architect is under siege. 
Rising ocean temperatures and acidification are causing massive bleaching events, threatening to destroy in decades what took millennia to build. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time.